Hello there everyone and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. Since last time around I've taken the liberty to actually find out how to play the game. So yes, I have discovered that you get into the overhead view by pressing U. Um, so yeah, I've improved quite a bit when it comes to battlefield tactics and we should show that as soon as possible. Uh, not a lot has changed since last episode. What I've gone ahead and done is I did actually find a rambunctious fellow over in, I think, yeah, Frankfurt was the place. So right now we have Gustav Samuel part of our party, the first one to join. He brings first aid, surgery and tactics to the table. I've also gone ahead and changed it around a little bit, streamlined it, so now we only have heavy howitzers four machine gun operators, and then I've gained, as I've been playing now, I've gained a few troops, or well, they have gained experience, so we have experienced infantry, we've got a few Jaegers as well, cavalry, and yes, that's about it. With that said, I'm thinking we're going to go for the weaker of the allies over on this side, so we've come into contact with some French armies, but also Belgian ones. I think we have a chance to take out a few Belgians. What I want to look for is, I want to look for if I can take a Belgian city. I also, of course, want to at some point head over to the Eastern Front. I kind of almost forgot about it. The uh, Russians have mostly been attacking um, the Austro-Hungarians, as far as I've seen. Or only on the Austro-Hungarians, in fact. Um, in terms of how the country is going, it's going pretty well. I haven't noticed anything that much. Obviously, because I was able to, or I changed out the... Um, I increased military spending quite a lot. That has, of course, e decreased the amount of money I make. But other than that, I haven't really seen anything bad. And I mean, my current budget is 26 million pounds. So even if I were to screw up something fantastically, um, we have quite a bit of money to burn, if that would be the case. Now, Liege has 92 defenders, but I think I might want to have quite a few more troops in my party before I go ahead and try and attack something like that. So we want to gain a few more levels. Currently I am level 3. I think we would want to be maybe 10 or some, maybe more. Oh, there we go. I didn't even have time to uh, properly see who it was. Johan de Groot. This is the guy I kind of run into all the time. Uh, you fight us, but many of my men will die, and you will probably lose yield and spare us both the unnecessary. We will fight you to the end. So we're fighting him at the dusk. Change troop deployment. The only thing I want to change out is I want to make this the machine gun, and this we'll just put as empty. So what I have is three companies of infantry, one company of light infantry, one cavalry squadron, heavy howitzers, and machine guns. With that, let's go ahead and start our battle and I'll show you what I've learned. First and foremost, I will tell everyone to go into lines of two. Once that is done, we press U and the machine gun is the first one to move. I'm gonna set him right here. Then we need the heavy howitzers. We'll set them quite far back. These are the cavalry. We'll set them over here. Light infantry and infantry will be set over here. And then we've got an additional two infantry regiments. So we've. I'm ordering everyone around here. We got everything set up. The machine guns start going off. Rather nice. It's the. Uh, Enemy's cavalry attack that comes in right here at the start. What I'm planning to do is we're going to move some of these regiments up to this ridge and also the machine gun. But right now I just want to stop this cavalry attack from going in. 
So it would be pretty nice to have machine guns right up where I am. And then we're gonna get the light infantry be next to them, and then the other infantry regiment out here. And then we'll close in with the other two regiments. And once we've set up here, I'm going to show you something. So we, with this, you actually have... This is World War One. Obviously, you need the ability, right? To uh, build trenches. And, oh shit, that artillery landed right on top of me. I just want to deal with the cavalry first. That, yeah, that's a lot of artillery shots is standing really close to me. Right. Light infantry, I want you to start to dig in. The regiment out here, also dig in. Dig in. Dig in. So everyone is now ordered to dig in. I'm not entirely sure if machine gunners can dig in. No, they cannot dig in. Right, there we have it. Look at that. Light infantry dug in over there, dug in, and my infantry regiments down here are both dug in. One thing that I might want to do is, right now I'm doing two units uh, wide. Maybe in the future I want to reduce that. What I'm going to do now is we're going to hold fire with everyone Except the artillery. The artillery will continue to fire. So I want everyone to hold fire. And see, the Belgians are getting closer. What I want to do is I want to unleash everything kind of on the Belgians as they turn up here. You can see them coming running out down there. Also, oh, that's enemy machine gun fire. Uh, machine guns fired with. Before I lose you. And also I should probably move a little bit. So I don't get... Yeah, that's a lot of machine gun fire coming in right there, as we can see. Also, one thing that I have forgot is uh, to turn this on. This mod has a tendency to crash. And so I'll... I'm oftentimes forget to enable stuff like this back again. I want this cavalry, I'm gonna move them down there. Good setup here. Okay, you know what? Everyone fired well. I was, I was hoping to bring them in closer. I did that in another battle, but I guess they had already lost the machine guns at that point. Now they've lost the machine guns, actually. Hold fire, ladies and gentlemen. Hold, hold, hold. What we'll do is Howitzer will continue to fire. So I want to drag the Belgians closer and then annihilate them in one fell swoop because otherwise when you fire them at long range they have a tendency to retreat, regroup and come back. I want to wipe them out in one go. And then send in the cavalry to finish them off. Actually, you know what? There's so... There's so few of them actually left. They're going behind that hill. I'm gonna move over to uh, set up with my cavalry. And I'm gonna prepare to charge the Belgians. Tell everyone to fire at will, and then get the cavalry. Okay, so, let's see. Cavalry. Follow me. Take my sword out. Okay, the Belgians are closing in. At this point... Everyone will fire at will. And suddenly we start to see loads of Belgians falling. Actually, my cavalry gets here just in time because there's no Belgians left. But there's a few actually. 
Cavalry charge. Charge for the guns! Charge for the guns. They're probably quite surprised when the German Emperor rides with the cavalry. We have won, but I want to make get some points. So I'm going to go ahead and slaughter the cannon crew on my own. Just to get some extra points here. This might take a while, but I'll, I won't be showing you this massacre as it occurs. But there we have it. Definitely, I would say this is the definite improvement to what happened in uh, the last episode. But there we have it. Victory. Here's the result of that battle. We lost six men, six killed, six wounded, gained six um, infamy points, not infamy points, renown points. The enemy lost everyone, 10 wounded, 115 killed. Dude managed to escape. Any losses that I took will be able to replenish by the people that we liberate. I was also able to get to, <laughs> yeah, I got to level seven. As I want more troops, a lot of the points are going to go into uh, Charisma. Hopefully to the point where I can gain... We don't have enough to put another point in Leadership, but I should... All those four points should lead me to have an additional... Um, additional four points, right? Or four people I should be able to put in squads. Intelligence is also needed, just to train up the troops, better equipped troops. Iron Flesh might be good, just so I'd survive a little bit longer, but so far that hasn't really been a problem. Weapon Master, Riding Athletics, just in case if I fall to the ground and have to uh, carry myself by my legs. Um, pistol, I'm not entirely sure the pistol is that useful. I'm gonna go with the sword, just to increase that a little bit. Let's get up to, up to some point, like that. Get them about even, something like that. Archery, I don't think we're gonna need that. So that should bring my party size up to 134. Infantry, we'll get more experienced troops, very experienced troops. Experienced Jaegers and very experienced Jaegers. We continue on the Ulan route, I think, and then the recruits go all to infantry. So we have very experienced troops. Very nice, indeed. We'll get those four extra. I might try my hand at invading, then. It might be a little bit too early to do that, but I think... That we wanna we wanna start doing some stuff. Or we start to gain some ground before anyone else does. We need to keep because we're on four two, two front war, kicking out a small nation like Belgium would be rather nice, and also gaining that territory would be rather nice. I'm sure we would gain um factories and natural I don't know what natural resources there is in Belgium, but who knows? Let's see. Okay, Franz Joseph is attacking something. Joseph Davis of Britain defeated. Uh, Russian Empire defeated. Okay, so our enemies are defeated. And our allies are sieging a place. Sounds good to me. One thing I can say is remember to save. Because uh, I've had quite a few crashes here. But let's go ahead and see if we can't do this siege. So we have an advantage of 40, what, 42 people. Should that be enough? Who knows? With that, with that said, let's charge. Besiege. Troop deployment plan? No, there's no need to change that. Prepare to attack the town. 72 hours to prepare the assault. 
that is plenty of time for the Belgians to react and come to their aid. Sultanate of Oman finish re Crimean war experience. Yeah, Sultanate of Oman, they're a little bit behind. Okay, I can hear horses. One thing that I should do is I could should maybe call my troops together. Oh, there comes the reinforcement. No, 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 no. We'll abandon siege immediately. So there's 155 in the kings. 125 plus 118. Yes. If I am going to siege, we're definitely going to need points in siege tech, in, not siege technology, in, what's it called? In, it's called siege, I think. Just engineering. We need engineering points so that we are able to siege it and take it before the reinforcements arrive. In this case, we have almost 400 enemies coming at us. What I'm hoping to do is maybe King Leopold will split up his force. Maybe someone will move off away. Groot is back with 125 really quickly. I also don't get why they keep fluctuating the points. I'm going to move here and I'm going to set up. Okay, they moved away. In They lost us in the night and we lost them in the night. Can we hope to drag one of their forces away from the others? And strike him alone? Currently, it looks like we're, far we're moving at about the same pace as the king. I'm hoping his followers are not right behind him. Oh, they are actually. They are. Would I dare try to fight all of them? I don't think so. The patrol can come to my aid, or maybe they can attack it. He's slowly catching up to me. I'm only 0.1 point ahead of him. How about enemy patrols near Frankfurt? How about we try to lure him as far in as possible and then try to attack one of these? Hmm. We have some plans here. Let's see if I can execute them. Would you look at that? I moved him. Okay. <laughs> I barely had to say anything. I barely could say anything. I moved into mines. The enemy followed me and they're actually laying siege. So they've got 400 troops and I've got 309. Now there's a pretty high chance that this crashes. So we want to be as bloody as possible and just cut our way through everything. So join the battle. Yes. Thank you. As you might be able to tell, it's early morning when this battle takes place and that's because this siege has crashed quite a few times. What I've gone ahead and done is I've lowered the amount of troops that are going to take part in this. And I'm hoping that is going to be uh, a decider that's going to get this battle to work. We'll see how it goes. All the troops are set up firing on the Belgians. The important part, I think, is the one machine gunner. Which we have set up right here. I hope this is a good spot. Looks like a good spot. Thing is, the Belgians got so many more artillery pieces. I might want to move some of the regiments out of here. So we got this one for. Ex oh, this one actually. That's the good wall. The guys up here. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna. You know, die if they keep standing there. Where is this one? Oh, it's the reserve. We'll keep them in reserve then, and we'll use second and. What was it? Okay, so these three. So the lights, third regiment, and second regiment all will move out to this side. No, not the lights! Oh no! Crap! Lights were the ones I wouldn't. My machine gunner is getting tons of kills here. 
Can you actually like pretend that you're clever? Get out through this hole. You you made it into a hole once. You should be able to uh, get out of this one. Surprise you guys even got born. Okay, so I got third regiment, second regiment out. We're gonna see about advancing that, so second regiment, two lines, third regiment, two lines. No my machine gunner! It's oh, it's Belgian machine gun! No! God damn it! I was hoping I could stay alive for a little bit longer. Oh shit, now the lights. Can I... Merge companies. Suppression fire off. Is there a way that I can get... Fourth company to move into... Like, not be in a square? This is bad, I think. The machine gunner had a good spot. I think it's just that we should have had more troops around here. Because as he was the one closest to the enemy, he was the one who was taking on the fire. There isn't actually that many Belgians here. Are there? Let's have... Second and third company advance on the enemy. If I'm able to kill a few of those, their crew. Oh, there are ah, their machine guns. I just noticed them. Let's see, which one is it? Page up, page down. Which one is it to increase elevation? The machine gun is moving. He took out quite a few of my troops here. Yeah, he's continuing to slaughter the second company. We're gonna have to fall back. As long as there are machine guns out there, there's gonna be no advancing. Get back inside! Okay, the guys managed to get in. It's that bloody machine gun. We've got two machine guns out there. The question is if my lights... If I can get a better position for my lights... And then we have this. But if I move them, I'm pretty sure they'll be a move into a square just like the others. They do not have a lot of troops as we can see. They've got three guys over here. A few over here. Is that the... Is that the... Com no, it wasn't the commander. He was just... Had a very swaggy... Swaggy way of walking. I thought it might have been a commander. Looks like the Belgian attack has faltered. These guys are falling back now. I'm pretty sure, looks like it. Can I get second regiment? Actually, third to get up into this high spot. And fire from the en at the enemy from over there. And same with uh, second company. I'm surprised that the battle hasn't actually crashed. We might... Oh, there <laughs> goes the entire company. So we still have the lights. I'm hearing machine guns, but I think it's a machine gunner here. I think like every tenth soldier is actually a machine gunner. There isn't a lot. Let's see, Jaegers, I'm sending you out. Worst case scenario, I order you to dig in. 
Hold here. Shoot that one guy. Nice. Okay, hurry. Now forward. Across this field. What I should have done, you know, I should have tell them to uh, position at will. So they could have gone prone or crouched when the machine gun was firing on them. That might have saved a few of them. Oh no, it's a machine gun! Damn. Dig in! I wonder how that... When, I, when they dig in like this. Oh! Great. Yeah, stop digging, just sh try to shoot him. The entire company got murdered, great. Can some- oh, there's where the trench ended up. Okay, light company. Hold here, then. Could you possibly shoot that guy? God damn it. Could they set up from a position up here? Shoot him down. I'm running out of troops. We have one cavalry guy over here. And I have one guy left in third company. Can you get a little bit closer there? A little bit more rifles on to target. The bust is firing back. I wish maybe that it it put us uh, when you die. It actually put you in uh, command of one of the bots, so that you could continue actually to play. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna shoot him down with the stupid bots. Fall back and set up around here. Not good, not good. I'm sure I'll be... I can join this again if I decide to... Yes. I will retreat. So, I lost 43 men. 24 killed, 19 wounded. Garrison lost 43 men. The enemy lost 69. So that's not too good, actually. Um, we'll wait. Join the second part of the battle. So we have 227 troops against their 340. Once more, onto the breach. Let's try to be a little bit more careful this time around. This time around I actually have three machine gunners. See if we can get them up here right off the start. And then let's see, so we get the lights on this side. We're not going to move them this time around. Third regiment though, definitely going to move them. Second regiment, definitely going to move them. But we're going to see about moving them out, digging them in, in front here. So we got three machine guns, that looks good. So if you can move out, and you can move out. And then I'm going to order them to call them and move in two lines. See, we've got these guys over here. So I want them just so that they are fired upon before these are. So you should set up here. And dig in. And then this regiment, I'd preferably get all of them out. Might have been easier to actually move them out all through that side. Because this side seems like it's not really working that well. Great. 
you might want to actually stand in the trench you built. Somewhat. Okay, let's see. Can I get you to move out? Currently, it looks like we're doing good. I'm all, I've only really been seeing green, right? The, now they're marching out nice and tidy. So, I'm gonna need you to set up here. I'm gonna see about you guys digging in as well. Get in, build a trench, dig in. Looks nice. I've got actually gone a character that can move around. Oh, we didn't get all out there. That's fine, the trench actually ended up out there. Even if, once again, they're not actually in it. Oh, I've won the battle! But we've only actually killed... 56 enemies. If it continues at this rate, the battle will take forever. But now I've got these two regiments out there. I'm gonna order them forward. I'm gonna take out the enemy's cannons. And maybe, just maybe, for the next battle, there will be no... Oh, new enemies are, have arrived. So even though we... Oh, it's kind of a bug. I can win the battle right now if I want to. But seeing as though the enemy had 300 and what? 340 men. I want to kill as many as possible. At the same time... There's still a definite risk of this battle crashing. So we still want to keep that in mind. It's kind of one of those... How much... How, how much... Uh, like... How much I'm am willing to risk of having to doing this all over again. I at least want to get... Kill like a hundred of them. Keep it up, guys. It's wonderful. They're all routing. And as they're routing, we're killing them. I'm actually gonna order you forward. And you forward. Oh, I just died. Great. Of all the people that bastard could have shot at, he shot at me. Yeah, there are some Belgians still fighting back. Damn, the amount of fire coming in on that dude. So we're up to 106, 39 right to 10 wounded. I... Uh yeah, I don't think we want to press our luck any further. I'm going to go ahead and accept the victory. So, I got wounded. Uh, two killed, one wounded on my side. Allies, 11 men. Enemy, lost 64 killed, 11 wounded, and 63 routed, 138 in total. So, kind of turned it around a little bit. Not enough to put us at a great advantage. A lot of the enemy just routed and weren't killed. That's the bad part. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. Then I'm going to go in again. And as I go in again, hopefully they'll attack again. 
and we can kill another hundred and then I might be able to take them out on the field. What I want to make sure here is just to save so that it doesn't crash again and I'll have to keep redoing everything. Right, I am too wounded to actually join the battle, but I can still order my men to join. We have 195 against their 198. We lose 6 men. Allies lose 7. Enemy lose 37. So... We're definitely on the right track here. We even got one seemingly retreating from the fight. Let's see, 182 against their 164. We were meant to join seven again. Seven on that, so 14. So we're consistently losing 14 men, while the Belgians are losing 30. Seven. And there we are, I believe we have won the battle. German recruit, thank you for your help, sir. It was fortunate to have you nearby. William the Groot managed to escape, and so did the others. I have 88 men ready. We should pursue this guy. He's got nine men ready. Problem is, he's traveling a lot faster than I am. Anyways. Mines is no longer a target. I've got a lot of veteran troops. Really what I need to do is I need to actually get off the front line. I need to get a lot more experienced companions. Um, like this guy, Samuel. Uh, we need more surgery, more engineering. And uh, more like tracking and pathfinding. Stuff like that to improve the overall of my army. Now, the thing is, I of course, as a marshal, can call all the troops together. But right now, I feel as though, currently, all my vassals, or the, the armies, are all the way around the border. Helping to protect it, protecting their own little interests. If I ask everyone to come here, and go for a specific target... It leaves big swaths of the Empire open for attack. And currently we're attacked from so many different sides that I think it's better for us to have all the troops spread out continuously guarding the borders and then I'm going to build myself up to be, you know, a big st stinking Prussian Rambo type character and just smash through and just be a juggernaut on my own. Uh, which is how I always play Mountain Blade anyways. So, oh, Plus, Big Battles Crash, as we find out, is a little bit unstable mod. Um, but then again, I mean, it's Mountain Blade. <laughs> it's, you know, it's Mountain Blade. It's supposed to be m kind of medieval sword fighting. Here we got machine guns, um, bloody heavy howitzers, and all kinds. So, no surprise that it's crashing. But hopefully, as the mod progresses, uh, there will be less and less crashes as the bugs are ironed out. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one where hopefully we'll take on the offensive instead and we'll smash those dirty little Belgians. So as I always say hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!